Hey guys, before we start today's video, we just wanted to take a second to thank you all for supporting us this last year. We have really enjoyed creating the vlogs and the videos that we have. Thomas kind of took the vlogs over and has really put a lot of time into really like honing your craft with editing videos. A lot of you have taken notice to his take to creating the videos. I absolutely love how you capture what you do with our family. Aww. That being said, we plan on committing more time to YouTube in the year of 2021. With this being our first video, we just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and ask you, what do you want to see from us? You can leave those comments down below. And we also wanted to bring up the fact that a lot of you who watch our videos aren't actually subscribed to our channel. And it really helps us out if you subscribe, if you like the video to make sure that you give it a thumbs up and to leave comments down below of what you thought of the video. Or like I said, if you want to leave comments down below of what you want to see in the upcoming videos, we have a lot of stuff planned out and have been working on some of the videos for this year and are super excited. Today's video is a really fun video. It's a vlog of us at home. We're painting as you can see right now. Well, doing some home projects. I'm painting. He is painting. But yeah, we just wanted to pop on here and say thank you guys. We have loved getting to know you guys last year. And I think with everything that happened with the pandemic and everyone staying home, there was a real sense of community here on YouTube and getting to chat with you guys every Sunday when we do our live premieres was such a highlight for us because it gave us a chance to talk to people from all over and catch up with you guys. Mm -hmm. And it felt like we, even though we were all separate and you know dealing with this uh, virus separately, we felt very much connected and very much together when we would do those. So again, thank you so much for the support and the love that you have sent us and the kiddos this year. We have all felt it tremendously. And yeah, like PJ said, we're just excited for 2021 and um, to connect with you guys even more. One thing that we do mention a lot in this video is the word simplify. We are coming up with words that we are going to live by for the year 2021. Simplify was the first word that we both agreed on. Basically what that means is we are simplifying our lives so that we can commit to the things that we are passionate about and making YouTube videos is one of those things. Mm -hmm. So bear with us, it's gonna be definitely something that we are going to work on. We're, we're, we're in the process of trying to make our videos better and better each each time, and you're doing a great job at it. Oh, thank you. Um, but yeah, that's that. Why don't we get started on today's vlog? Once again, thank you guys so much. We cannot wait to see what 2021 brings all of us. Happy New Year. I have to they do what I'm officially retiring my real estate license. I stopped pretty much taking clients about a year ago. We're just way too busy. We have too many things going on and our word for 2021 is going to be simplify. Simplicity, simple. We're going to minimize our lives. Mm -hmm. So one of those things is eliminating some work. I did do two real estate transactions, technically three real estate transactions, not including stuff that we bought last year and just like taking care of that, not having to do continued education courses and pay all of the real estate things throughout the year, we decided to freeze it for now. If things slow down, I can always do it, but I've been doing real estate since 2013. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna be so sad though, because we always use PJ's to go look at houses. Real estate license to go look at houses that we love, but I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. But my mom is a realtor and now Thomas's mom is a realtor. So if we want to go look at houses, we can use them and then we're still going to be involved in real estate because that's what we do for a living. We renovate properties. So you're going to see a lot of that, just less of the other side of it. Gotta go, bye! Have fun retiring. What? Yeah. 
This is it. What is it? Thomas and I decided not to exchange gifts this year just because we didn't need anything and it was busy and yeah. And I don't know, it's just not as important to us right now where we're at in life. I think that used to be something that we really loved and I know people are gonna come for us saying you shouldn't stop dating your husband and whatnot, but uh, we need to cut that. But I also asked him, I was randomly online and I saw something that we both would really enjoy. And I was like, would you want me to order this for both of us as a Christmas present? And he said, yes. And so I said, okay. This meaning, I don't know what it is. You never told me what it was. Yeah. So actually I'm gonna switch it so that you can open it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hold on, hold on. Can you guess at all what it is? I mean, I've kind of been guessing this whole time. What is it? An iRobot. Mm. I've been saying I really want it to be an iRobot because of all the dogs and the cats and the kids and mm -mm. Mm -mm. us. Mm -mm. Would you say that there is anything in your life that um, hurts or gets or annoys you or causes you pain? The back. I wonder if it's this thing that I saw on Instagram. Or maybe I saw a commercial for it on TV. I don't know. Wait, this is not at all what I thought it was. What is this? Oh my God, it's so heavy. <gasps> What's in the box? What's in the box? So, so it's a, um, basically it's a massager. <gasps> you guys, the kids have been so bad today. Just a lot of, anyways, Merry Christmas. Getting on each other's <laughs> nerves. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm excited about this. Are you gonna do this for me tonight? Yes, yes, yes. He doesn't want you to. Mama, but he doesn't want it. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, um, so it's weird. Today has felt like the most unproductive day. We were planning on being really productive, but if you step back and take a look at it, we've actually been very productive today. We have been simplifying. Did you already say that, that was the word the word 2021, yeah. well we're sticking by it today we have simplified so much so let's start with pj retired his license he told you that already officially done being a realtor well i wouldn't go that far <laughs> never say never um and then i have been cleaning out the boys clothes upstairs they've got a bunch of new clothes for christmas so then i put a bunch in a bag and we're going to be donating them what <laughs> And uh, so that feels good, cleaning out all their drawers of the clothes they don't wear anymore. But the biggest thing is... I farted. Did you really? No, the biggest thing is... You farted? No. <laughs> we just sold my car. It's gone. I only had it for about two years, two and a half years. All right, so the story is I got my car after I wrecked my old car three years ago and I got this Lexus and it was perfect for just me and PJ. It was great to drive in for just the two of us. Then we got the kids. It was too small. It was a Lexus RX. So then we switched to, we already had a Land Cruiser. So then we started driving that. Bigger, better. Well, it's a vintage Land Cruiser. It's a 99. It is. And we were concerned about, we mm -hmm. sold the, we sold. We the, sold my car. Remember the one you didn't like? Because we didn't need it anymore. Because we have our family car. I like your new car. No. We didn't buy a new car. <laughs> we don't have a new car. Anyways, we have, we had three cars. We thought that was excessive. And the Lexus was really too tight for three car seats. So we decided a long time ago that we were going to sell it. And then Thomas never listed it. Well, the and thing I said, is. It's your car, it's your job. You do it. That's true. You do it. That's you true. do it. You do it. You do it. Do it, you do it, not me, not me. The thing is, the Land Cruiser, like PJ said, is not 20 me. years old. It's 20 years old, has like no modern amenities. We both love it, to be honest, but it is, it's it's not a smooth ride, let's just say that. The Lexus was very smooth, so I would like drive the Land Cruiser and be like, nope, it's bigger, it's great, it has third row seating, it's perfect. And then I would drive the Lexus like once, 
And I'd be like, okay, actually, no, I really like this car. So I'm going to switch back to that. So we did that for a couple months. What's funny also is the older brother does not like the Lexus. He loves the Land Cruiser, which we call our family car. And he loves the family car. And hello, I'm talking. Anyways, all that to say, we're simplifying. 2021 is all about simplifying. Like PJ said, we started doing that today and it feels good to have one less thing to worry about. Yeah. Our house is a disaster. Or a disaster. I mean, every single room is piled to the ceiling with crap. There's stuff everywhere. There's Sissy's food that she didn't eat. There's a toy. There's bags of garbage everywhere. Well, that's not garbage. I don't know if we told you guys, but our word for 2021 is simplify. We did. I know, but oh. I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay. So today we're putting away all of the Christmas decorations, hopefully once and for all. I've also been going through our house and collecting things that we no longer need or want. Like all of this. So this is all trash. We're donating this. We are also closing our online shop for now, just because We've been so busy. We just really want to focus the next year on family and the land project that we have going on or going to be having going on and all that stuff. Yeah, I think this 2020 was a good test year for us because we took on a bunch of projects and just like little things, work related, personal, and I think we got burnt out. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. I don't know that it would have been the same if the pandemic had not happened right in the middle of everything, but it was just one of the stressful year. It that was. was very busy. We're so busy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was not me. I bet it wasn't. You planned that. Nope. Setting me up. Tonight we are doing a last minute chicken tortilla vegetable soup. I put in the wrong vegetables in the um, Dutch oven. So it's vegetable soup. Hmm. Now I'm making homemade, um, I don't know, tortilla chips from some leftover tortillas. Hmm. PJ, what has thou been doing? Sissy done poo pooed. There's no way she already poo pooed. So we are still Princess. rearranging our living room. We are still working on. Sissy just went poo -poo. Hold on, Sissy, I'm coming. Still working on the living room. Today we bought these lamps that Thomas found about two weeks ago. And then we found these end tables. I was going to make end tables just because it was such a random size. But the ones that we found today were the exact size we needed. So it was like 11 and a half inches wide and I think 43 inches deep, something like that. Literally perfect as far as like size wise. Thomas wasn't too crazy about the color, but. I will, well, I think I would have liked the lighter wood, but I like the look of this. We are painting the walls. So the white, we're gonna do white walls. So the white with the darker should balance out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very cozy in here. PJ has been working on it for the last couple hours and I love it. So we were talking, the only thing we have left, we want to do curtains on the back wall. We want to replace this light and the two sconces. And did I say paint? You did. And then, and then I think we're going to take down these fern prints and maybe have them live somewhere else. They just, they were here whenever this was our dining room. So they fit perfectly. But for the last couple months, they've been kind of hiding and peeking behind the TV. Yeah. So... We're going to move those somewhere else. All right, sis, I got to go.
Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wouldn't be a vlog without that. So today is the last day of the year. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Bye bye. <laughs> Am I right? You're so right. This is the chicken tortilla soup that I made last night. Actually better the next day. And then I made this spice maple cake from Half Baked Harvest, a recipe that I found a couple weeks ago. It's very good. I will say I love the icing. It's very crumbly, mm -hmm. deliciously, like a coffee cake. Yes, the icing is a maple icing, deliciously homemade. So anyways, PJ, why don't you tell the gentle viewers what we're doing today? What on earth? Uh, we are getting started on 2021. We have, we're picking out five words to encompass the year. We, pick, we were gonna just pick out one, but we want five. Five is better, more is better, just kidding. Actually, one of our words is simplify. Well, we told them simplify, but we haven't told them. Well, I haven't, I'm not set on the ones that you mentioned. I'm not all of them. So uh, simplify and organize are the two main ones. Those are the first two. Our house is a disaster. The kids' clothes are not organized and all over the place. They usually end up in laundry baskets and that's where we get their clothes out of to dress them. Not today, Satan! 2021 is going to be all about organizing our life, minimalizing, um, what was that main first word that we were going Simplify. to do? Simplifying. Simplifying, <laughs> getting rid of, exiting, out of. Heading upstairs. Almost all of the Christmas is taken down, but it's in the upstairs landing because we're going to simplify and organize all of the upstairs closets that we can simplify and organize all of them upstairs. Yeah. Look at this. We are taking apart older brother's room again for hopefully the last time. We just did this like two months ago. We're taking apart little sis's room. Hopefully for the last time. We did this again a couple of months ago. We're gonna redo it. We are. So honestly, if we're being honest, all of the kids' rooms I feel like this year have just kind of been like placeholders. All the furniture in has kind of been placeholders. We just didn't have time to really decorate them the way that we wanted to. But for the last month, I feel like we've really been taking an interest again in this house. And we're kind of getting inspired again to really put some more time and effort into it. I mean, part of that is because the cottage is finally off of our plate because yeah. Thomas's mom is moving in. In like... I mean, she's moving in today, days. tomorrow, and... Oh yeah, currently, yeah. The January 4th is her last day to move her stuff. Yeah. So, busy, busy. Yeah, I'm excited though. There's something about the new year, 20... Starting a new year, there's something about starting a new year that is like fresh and fun and has all these possibilities. And I think we're like really feeling that right now. At least I am. I'm excited to work on this house. Also, uh, foster care update. Mm -hmm. We have been waiting for January 7th for several months now. It's a big day for us yes. in our foster care journey, journey. Okay. And we're excited about it. We can't wait for it to be over, especially 30 days after that date, um, I think at that point, we will probably say where we are because it's at that point, it's gonna be safe to do it. Yeah. So February 7th, we'll probably give a very detailed foster care update. I hope so. I mean, if we've learned anything though from foster care, it's that almost nothing goes according to plan. So we're saying this now, we're putting it out there, hopefully, we can deliver on that day and get some good news. Another update on the land is yesterday, we firmed up our next big project at the land and it's starting on January the 18th. We'll give you more of an update on that. Maybe today, we, we've talked about going out there today. If we go out there today, maybe we'll talk about what's gonna happen. It's really big. It's yes. going to be really awesome. Yes. And what? it's gonna give us tons of things that we can do out at the land. Thoughts, thought, 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 thought. It's something I've wanted to do for 
basically the entire time that we've had the land. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And so it will fun. only take, I think, a month or two to finish it. Only. It's not very long. That's true. It's not. Um, why are you using Little Sis's spoon to eat? Mm. Please stop, it's making me want to puke. You gotta go, bye. So this is where we're at in the room switcheroo. Okay. Also, if you missed a little goat you ate earlier, it's because my mama had her last night, which is her and my mom. And we missed her this morning. I know, we woke up and it was, the house was just a little bit quieter, but not- well, you're not going night night. Oh, I am a Also, little Gautier has been putting a lot more thoughts out there with short phrases and words that we had no idea that she knew how to say. Mm -hmm. She is turning into a little talker these days, right? Yeah. You know how to say words? Oh, um, yeah. What kind of words? Um. You say poo poo. Oh my gosh. You say banana. Banana. No. Can you say apple? Apple. Can you say I don't want to. I want to. Say I want to take a nap. I want to nap. <laughs> What's your favorite song? <laughs> sing, sing your song. <laughs> sing mama, ah, ah, ah. Mama, mama. Mama. Ah, ah, ah. Roma, Roma, ma. Good job at romance. <laughs> She's obsessed with bad romance, and she screams into the talk to text on her iPad. Mama, ah, ah, ah. And it brings up the most random videos. So this is going to be Big Brother's. Bedroom. Yes. This Remove the new rug in. Organize 2021. Yes. All right, so here is where we are in the new room. We moved the nightstands in here. PJ brought up a lamp. He scooted a dresser over. Oh, what is that? It's the baby fig tree that he planted. That's so that's cute. responsibility to take care of it and water it. Love it, love it. Hey. It's your plant, and guess what? What? Now it's your responsibility to take care of it. It's in your room. Yeah. Your room gets enough light for it to live, but guess what? You have to make sure it keeps it water, so you're gonna have to check the dirt to make sure it doesn't need water so you can keep it alive. And then if you keep it alive all winter, we'll plant it at the land this summer. Yeah, yeah, I just to yeah. keep it here. Well, we'll get you a new plant. Once this one is yeah. coming, yeah. Yeah. Look, I got my snowflake. Is that his name? Yeah, no. I or her name? I changed her name. <laughs> Daddy, look. Let me see. Daddy, Mama! 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 Outside and do what I told you to do. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so we loaded all that crap you saw earlier that we were moving around into the back of PJ's truck. We just got to Holiday House, and that's where it's gonna be for a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I'm so tired, and we have to stay up until midnight. Of course we do.
function. It's a good question. What are you doing? You're making. I'm making my own candle, guys, out of candles that are gone from the yard. So it's New Year's Eve. I'm making a red sauce, snacking on some leftover cheese and crackers. And PJ is making candles. Because why not? I'll tell you why not. What are you doing? Ew. Guys, when we wake up, it's gonna be a brand new year, okay? Does that sound good? All right, good night, guys. Good night. We love you. Bye. Bye, good night. <laughs> that was no, that was last week. Yeah. Okay. Happy New Year. Mm. Happy New Year. Did I post? Um, happy 2021. Oh my gosh, it's 12 a.m. on January 1st, 2021. I can't wait to look back at this video in five, ten years. And be like, how did we make it through? And be like, oh my gosh, we look so different. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we have the snacks. Kids um, are in bed. We started Sabrina. We did. I don't know if we're going to finish it, but um, yeah. What a, uh, what? Is this from you? Is that a shadow? Oh, okay, it's just a shadow. Anyways, we uh, we made it, you guys. As a, like a community, collectively, we made it to 2021. I was saying earlier how this year, it's weird because it simultaneously feels like the longest year ever, but also very short, like it was a blur. And if you were to describe it to someone, you almost couldn't because so, many crazy things happened this year that are almost unfathomable. What was your favorite part of this year? Do you, if you even have one? The land. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. What about you? I think my favorite part of this year was uh, weirdly, and I probably wouldn't have said it in the moment, but like pushing myself to see how far much I could take on or how far I could go, especially with the parenting thing. Like that was the most challenging thing this year was just being a parent and working and doing homeschool and raising the kids. But like looking back, that was my favorite part it was kind of growing as a person and, and being like knowing that I could do more than I thought that I could. Mm -hmm. I just taking it day by day and land is up there too. And the kids, obviously, but the reason why I say land is because I feel like it was a place for our whole family mm -hmm. to go when we really just needed some peace and joy. No matter the mood that I'm in, when I go out there and I step out of the car, I can just like, the air feels cleaner and I am immediately in a better mood. So, and I can see it in the kids also. They love going out there and you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So that's... I love that though. I love it. It's so crazy because <laughs> I never thought that I would like land. I've always been like an in town kind of person. Hold it. Is your arm getting tired? Mm -hmm. um, but this year, I really fell in love with the peace and the quiet out there. And like kind of just the possibility of what it could be almost and like our plans for it and what it means for our family. But um, happy 2020 is over. I think we all are. We are looking forward to 2021. Okay, so I think that's it for now. We're gonna get off here and go to bed. Cause it's late and I'm tired. We'll see you later. <laughs>